and go to the non-religion of our school. We're talking synchronized swimming in this um, section of our program. The Jamaica International Synchronized Swimming Championships will get on the way on the 7th of October. Uh, we've got the lovely Diane Campbell here, and she's the chairperson of synchronized swimming. Welcome to our program once again, ma'am. Happy to Thank you. Happy. Always a pleasure. <laughs> All right, um, uh, the big day, Thursday, October um, 7. Um, talk to us about that. The okay, it's... Is participating and the debates. Okay, it's the Car Jamaica International Synchronized Swimming Championship. It will be over a period of three days, October 7 to 9th. It will be in the afternoon to facilitate Jamaicans and coming out in their numbers to support not only Jamaica, but to see fellow Caribbean countries in the USA. Uh, we have Peru, Panama, Curacao, of course, Jamaica and the USA participating over the three days of championship. We'll see a combination of solos, duets, trios, and of course, team. And a team is a minimum of four to eight participants. Uh, we'll have persons who are novices, intermediate, and age group champions. And age groups are persons who have actually competed at the international level, represented their countries. And a novice is somebody who has just started, and an intermediate is just between the two. So any level of synchronized women will be seen at these over the three days, and it's going to be an exciting event. And we're happy, so happy that we're able to bring it to Jamaica at the Bowman Park Swim Complex on the seafront. All right, they, they may be ready to be a challenge at, at Bowman. Talk, talk to us about that. Well, if, if I'm understanding correctly, the facility is made up of two things. A, the pool itself and the infrastructure. So the pool is quite, quite good. We're happy with the... The pool, has been the pool is a championship female pool, so we're very happy with that. Uh, we are facing a challenge with the infrastructure, that is the building, but we have 23 days to go, and my fellow Jamaicans and myself and the bodies that do govern it are aware of what the challenges are, what the, the standard is to be, and all parties have promised and given the, us the assurance that they will bring it up to par. So while it might not be ready right this minute on day 23 before, on the first day of the three-day championship, it will be up to par and Jamaicans will be impressed. All right, don't talk to us about uh, funding um, this venture. You know, how is that going to Because it has a cost. Oh, it's a cost. Well, we had, we, I first have to make the statement that no, not all athletes wear shoes. Some of us walk on barefooted with empty skin because on, but um, Clara Jamaica came to our rescue and they saw what synchronized swimming is. They saw the need to expand it in Jamaica. They saw the need to show Jamaicans that synchronized swimming is here and Clara rose to the occasion with smile, with pride and a, a nice tidy sum of money and support to make it happen. And there are other sponsors. SDF came to our rescue as well. They were part of it, NCB. Um, Gatorade to help the athletes, Alan Karen to carry the athletes home because they will be picked up at the airport, taken to Knoxford Court Hotel, which is the sports village, um, Excelsior Crackers, True Juice, um, Hits, Ajar, and of course TVJ so far in terms of having us on board. So, and Green, a company also made a part of it. What is basically, what they're doing, all these sponsors are doing is lending themselves and their funds and their goodwill to allow us to go to different places and to share and to let Jamaicans know that this is happening and to bring them out, to pull them out. As I said, an afternoon session, so persons leaving from work can catch an hour. Persons on the, with a parent or older person can come down from school. It's important that students come and their parents come as well because they need to see what the sport is, what it can do, and to show that there's a different aspect of it. So we're talking about uh, at 2 o'clock, on Thursday, the seventh, and again on Friday the eighth. Yes, and then, and then it's on that Saturday, eight o'clock to one p.m. Yes. Uh, one o'clock. So this is at the Bournemouth Bournemouth Bar Swim Complex. Swim yes. Complex, and uh, there's a charge, a price of it. Oh now. yeah, <laughs> at a mere fifty dollars for children yes. and one hundred dollars for adults. Of course, parking is a hundred dollars. Rent as well, and there's a informative clinic as well. FINA has graced us, and FINA is a governing body for all aquatic disciplines across the world and they have blessed us with a clinic where persons can come free of cost to be exposed to the wonderful world of synchronized swimming. It will be held at the Jamaica Olympic Association office on Cunningham Avenue and information will be shared shortly. And then there's a social part of the event. It is the Clara International Aquatic Fusion will be, which will be held at the Constance Wing Golf Club. Again, countries will be participating, showcasing their talent, and this will be a different side of synchro. This is a showy, flamboyant side of synchro where they wear very 
very interesting costumes and more elaborate makeup. And then we have Tammy Chin will be presenting her songs, Certified Diva, and of course, Oral Tracy is the host. Uh, we have fashion show by Puma and Juliana. It's just again at Constance Wing Golf Club. A mere one thousand dollars for children, two thousand dollars for adults. All in the hopes of getting Jamaica to have a team ready for synchronized swimming, curve to twenty sixteen Barbados. Okay, there. Let's get back to your South Peru, Panama. Um, what's the standard of, of, of their teams? The standard of Curacao and Peru is extremely is is very high. Um, Panama is just beginning to explore synchronized swimming and so we're with Jamaica right now. Jamaica is right in the middle. Jamaica is poised for greatness and over the years, the sport is over ten years old. We've had challenges and step back step back but we have we have built on that. What we've done, we have actually sourced an overseas coach. And with that comes expertise and knowledge of what the, a first world country does. So in terms of equipment, in terms of method, in terms of knowledge and we're constantly building on same. The clinic will also help introduce persons who might have a taste or a bit of a knowledge of the sport. And then with this now, they will be able to train. And eventually, GC Foster, I've been told, will be training synchronized swimming, swimming, swimmers, teachers going forward. So there, there's, there, there's a plan afoot. It's just a matter of what we're doing as the clubs to make it happen and to build on scene. It takes time, it takes funding, and it takes a passion and people believing in the sport and of course athletes turning up for training and having the facility to do the same, to train. So it's a, it's, it's a couple of steps well. Well, you, you alluded to the fact that you are very in support from the um, Sports Development Foundation. What are the other government support or what, what, what about government involvement? Well, in terms of funding from the government yeah, entities, yeah, yeah. Sports Development well, Foundation, Foundation. Is, is very, has been very good to us and any of the issues we have, we can go to them for, as a resource. Our governing body, the ASAJ, Amateur Swimming Association of Jamaica, is also helping in terms of facilitating and guiding us in certain passageway. Um, the Minister of Youth, Culture and Sports, Babs de Green, has been most helpful in giving us waivers and in, in endorsing the event and lending her voice so we can actually get go to certain companies to get help. Um, the Jamaica Olympic Association has lo loaned us their facilities free of cost to have the clinic. And in terms of other entities, it will be more FINA, which is sending somebody from the US, and we are on the website for British, Synchro, um, Canada, Canada Synchro, Synchro, and of course US Synchro. We are on their website, so persons can go to any of these three websites, plus FINA, and actually see the championship, which is a very big thing for us. All right, it sounds, um, it, it sounds all, all good, and um, a special invitation um, to us in Jamaica to come down to the board. But there has been a debate on issue as far as what is concerned, and that is a perception that it may not be all, be all that safe. But I think, uh, have we gotten that behind us now? <laughs> There's a perception that all Jamaicans are bad, but are we all bad? No. no the major speak to one, you realize that we're all fabulous, wonderful people, so give the facilities a chance. Make your personal opinion of it. Don't, don't, don't be governed or be thrown by somebody else's. The facility is excellent. I swim in the pool. Right. And, and this, of course, in uh, normal security. Really normal security, down, parking, parking. It's going to be one of those events that you'll not only be seeing synchronized swimming. You'll be seeing, there'll be giveaways and fun things happening. Clara has really put on a show for us. And, 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 the and they are the sponsors. And they are the Yes, because True Juice, Excelsior, and a lot of Gatorade will be there. What you have to understand is that the sport itself, as fabulous as it is, cannot stand on its own. So what we're doing, we're creating a very holistic environment at Bournemouth Bar Pools over the next three days, October 7th, 8th and 9th, where they can come and see the sport, enjoy the facility. I mean, listen to the Caribbean breeze as it passes you while you watch synchronized swimming, listen to music, eating some food and drinking some Gatorade. Right, that's lovely, that. Thank you very much, Matthew. So you have to promise me that you'll be there in Jamaica. Oh, Please, turn up. I'll be there on, on, on this end. All right, thank you very much for being here. That's our program uh, for this evening. Good evening. Hope you enjoy the presentation and invite you to join us next week, Monday at 8 o'clock, and we present another edition of Iron on Sports.